Hey guys, welcome back to another All Things Nerd podcast. My name is Nathan, and today let's talk about Dark Souls Remastered. I recently just went through the game for the first time, and it was a couple of weeks ago, but it was a lot of fun. It was challenging, it was hard, and I kind of just wanted to just speak on it for a minute. Um, the From Software games, Dark Souls, you know, Bloodborne, Sekiro, Elden Ring, all that, From Software has really blown up in the past few years. I feel as if a long time ago, people didn't know the games until about around, you know, the past five or ten years. And, you know, I, I feel like it was a lot smaller community. Like, even myself growing up, I never heard about these games. And I think I, I watched a couple of videos of YouTube on them. Um, sorry, a couple YouTube videos on them. And, you know, people would talk about how hard they were, how challenging they were, how um, incredibly fun they were, though. And, and people would make rage compilations, you know. And, um, but I never really understood what they were talking about because I never played the games. So I went through Dark Souls Remastered for the first time. And you can see here I'm, I'm showing some gameplay in the background. But um, it was a fun experience, you know. Um, it, it's, it's very... It's very surreal when you step out of the Undead Asylum and get to the Firelink Shrine. It's like that feeling of like your home, even though you've never visited there before. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's just this weird feeling you get that you feel like the character you've made, you've been there already in like a dream or something, you know? And and that's kind of how I felt playing through Dark Souls Remastered. It was, it was different. It was a lot of fun. Uh, it was, like I said earlier, it was challenging. Um, so, well, definitely some of my favorite areas in the game is currently what I'm showing now is the Painted World. Um, I loved Anne Orlando, of course, when you first dropped there. I actually really enjoyed going through the Duke Archives. That was one of my favorite areas of the game. I know a lot of people hated that area, but I don't know. I thought the Duke Archives was a lot of fun. Um, what else there? I hated the Tomb of Giants. Uh, that was a really challenging, hard area. See, I didn't know these little things because it was my first like blind playthrough of the game, so I didn't know nothing about it. I did get some, you know, some guides here and there online because I got stuck a few times, and I'm sure everybody else did. So yeah, I didn't 100% play blindly through the game, but I will say that um, it was one of the most challenging games I've ever played in my life, um, and you have to have a lot of patience, right, to play through these games. You can't just jump in and, st I mean, you can just jump in and start running around and killing things, but there's like a direction. And the thing that I loved about the Dark Souls, especially Dark Souls Remastered, is I feel as if one thing that's really cool, it's like a giant puzzle, right? Just because, so you can do the areas in each order that you want to do them, but some areas affect other areas in a different way. Like for, for instance, You'll want to do, um, what was it? You'll want to do the demon runes to get the, I don't remember what that hat is or like the headpiece is called where it gives you the light. Um, I won't spoil anything, but there's like, you go to the demon runes and you can get this item that will give you a light, which will then help you in another area of the game that I've already talked about, but I'm not going to repeat that because I don't want to give spoilers. So there's different ways that you can play the game. So I actually did things... I guess technically in the wrong order. I mean, I don't know if there is a wrong order, but I did things that probably, uh, it definitely would have helped me a lot more if I would have did them in a different order. Uh, but it was cool. Like, uh, one of the guys I hated is Patches. That guy is super annoying. Um, man, he, he um, you know, spoiler ahead, he pushes you off a cliff in the Tomb of Giants, and I'm sure most people know this by now, but... Um, <laughs> He pushes you off a cliff, and then you fall, and then you get an item or whatever. But it's just things like that, like, you just don't expect. And uh, I'm trying to think, what was, like, my favorite boss in the game? Uh, Ornstein and Smo was fun. I got to be honest, I couldn't beat them. <laughs> so I got help from Solaire. Uh, I think most people do, but I, I tried to get good. I couldn't get good. I was like, you know what, I really don't want to put like a thousand hours into this game just to beat two bosses like this just I don't know I want to play Dark Souls 2 and I want to go through Dark Souls 3 so I was like yeah I just don't really want to spend that much time uh trying to defeat a boss that it doesn't matter that much 
Uh, but yeah, Orange Seas Mo was cool. Uh, Sea for Scaleless was a lot of fun. That guy took me, I think, the most tries out of all the bosses. Seep was really hard. Um, sadly, I will say that the easiest boss in the game, <laughs> to me, was the last boss of the game. Like, that was really disappointing. <laughs> and I won't give any spoilers because there's an easy way to beat the boss. But... Um, it's just funny that if you don't fight him in like the traditional hand-to-hand -hand combat way, it, there's still an easy way to beat him, and it's it's kind of sad that they made the last boss like that. But I understand, you know, this game was made what like ten or twelve years ago, so it's a really old game now. The now I will recommend to play the remastered version, only because of the game looks gorgeous. But also, uh, it, they fix a lot of Blight Town issues. You know, if you know what I'm talking about, back in the old days, um, people were saying that Blight Town had a lot of frame rate issues, and in the remastered version, they actually fixed those issues, and so it's a lot easier to go through the game. Um, I'm gonna be go. I'm, I'm currently right now going through Dark Souls Two. Dark Souls Two so far is not my favorite. Uh, it's it's a lot different than Dark Souls One. I have already gone through Dark Souls 3, so you know I'll, I'll definitely talk about that in an upcoming another video, but I definitely want to talk about Dark Souls 2 next and my experiences with it after I finish it. So maybe I'll do 3 and then I'll do 2. I know it's out of order, but... Uh, so I wasn't blindly going into these Dark Souls games. I came from Bloodborne, so I had a kind of an understanding of how these games were going to be played. I know that Dark Souls is a lot slower than Bloodborne, uh, but coming from Bloodborne was it you know it definitely makes it kind of an easier experience, but really not. So when I first started Dark Souls, I bought the trilogy, right? Um, the the Dark Souls collection or whatever. You get one, you get one, two, and three with all the DLC. I bought it for the PS4, and. I, I started playing it and I got really frustrated because you know I didn't understand the game at first and so I actually sold my copy of the trilogy <laughs> uh, and I'm like I'm just going back to Bloodborne I don't care for the Dark Souls games and then I went through Bloodborne again I did like it my fifth or sixth playthrough of Bloodborne after I beat Bloodborne I'm like you know what I started watching more Dark Souls videos on YouTube I started watching speed runs of it and I'm like let's give it another try I'm glad I did because I fell in love with the games. Uh, Dark Souls has been a really fun experience. I recommend if you're going to go into Dark Souls and you've never played a From Software game like Demon Souls or anything back in the day, I, de I definitely recommend playing them in order because if you play the third game, it will ruin your experience for the other games. Just trust me on that because of how... Uh, well made 3 was compared to the other games like the other games were well made like don't get me wrong for their time the game was amazing right but the way you move your character and everything is so much more faster than um, back in Dark Souls 1 and 2 so you know if you don't want to spoil things for you it will ruin the gameplay experience if you play Dark Souls 3 before you play 1 and 2 I will just say that now so if you're planning on playing through the Dark Souls trilogy definitely uh, play through them in order because if you don't it will ruin everything um, I'm definitely gonna be making some more Dark Souls videos coming up uh, yeah so I just wanted to kind of give my thoughts on Dark Souls Remastered it was a great time I'm, I'm actually currently doing my second playthrough right now as a pyromancer or pyromancy or whatever you want to call it um, I don't remember who the other class I started as my first playthrough I think I was just a knight or whatever and I didn't take the master key my first playthrough either, and now I did. Um, I kind of wanted to, I did read up a little bit of that beforehand because people were saying don't take the master key um, if you're new. It's definitely better to take the ring for the extra health um, only because you actually get to experience the game the way From Software recommended the game, I guess you could say. I mean, obviously you can play the game however way you want. But if you're going to play through like in a true playthrough, don't take the master key. It, it's better that you explore things and you'll get other items to get those other things. 
So yeah, I just want to wrap up the video and I just want to say that um, if you ever experience about playing through Dark Souls, I definitely recommend it. All right, I'll see you guys on the next video. Uh, take care.